Bohemian Crown Jewels, Jewels, the Bohemian Crown Jewels, also called the Czech Crown Jewels, Czech, Seskorna Vakni Klenati, include the crown of St. Wenceslas Svatovaklavska Korona, the royal orb and scepter, the coronation vestments of the kings of Bohemia, the gold reliquary cross, and St. Wenceslas sword. They were originally held in Prague and Karlstegen Castle, designed in the 14th century by Matthias of Arras. Since 1791 they have been stored in St. Vitus Cathedral at Prague Castle. Reproductions of the jewels are permanently exhibited in the historical exposition at the former royal palace in the castle. The crown was made for the coronation of Charles Roman IV in 1347, making it the fourth oldest in Europe. Description The crown has an unusual design with vertical floors de lis standing at the front, back and sides. Made from 22 karat gold and a set of precious 19 sapphires, 30 emeralds, 44 spinels, 20 pearls, 1 ruby, 1 rubellite, and 1 aquamarine. It weighs 2475 ig. At the top of the crown is the cross, which reportedly stores a thorn from Christ's crown of thorns. Unlike in most later crowns, the cross does not stand on a mond. The royal scepter is made from 18 karat gold, 4 sapphires, 5 spinels, and 62 pearls with an extra large spinel mounted on top of the scepter. It weighs 1013. The royal orb is also made from 18 karat gold, 8 sapphires, 6 spinels, and 31 pearls. It weighs 780 and is decorated with rock relief scenes from the Old Testament and the Book of Genesis. The coronation robe was used from 1653 until 1836. It is made from precious silky red material called zealato lav and is lined with ermine fur of the stoat. The robe is stored separately from jewelry in a specially air-conditioned repository. For the coronation ceremonies, St. Wenceslas' sword, a typical Gothic weapon, was used. The first mention of the sword reported in historical records is in 1333, but the blade dates back to the 10th century, while the hilt is from the 13th century, and textiles are probably from the time of Charles Roman IV. The iron blade length is 76 cm, at the widest point is 45 mm, and has a ripped hole in a cross shape 45 x 20 mm. The wooden handle is covered with yellow-brown fabric and velvet embroidered with the ornament of laurel twigs with thick silver thread. After coronation ceremonies, the sword was used for the purpose of granting knighthoods. The oldest leather case for the crown was made for Charles Roman IV in 1347. On top are inscribed four symbols, the imperial eagle, bohemian lion, the coat of arms of Arnost of Pardubis, and emblem of the archbishopric of Prague. The door to crown jewels chamber, and likewise the iron safe, is hardly accessible and has seven locks. There are seven holders of the keys, the president of the republic, the prime minister, the Prague archbishop, the chairman of the house of deputies, the chairman of the senate, the dean of the Metropolitan Chapter of St. Vitus Cathedral, and the mayor of Prague, who must all convene to facilitate opening the impenetrable door and coffer. History The crown is named and dedicated after the Duke St. Wenceslaus of the Primislids dynasty of Bohemia. The jewels should be permanently stored in the chapel of St. Wenceslaus in St. Vitus. They were only lent to kings, and only on the day of the coronation and should be returned in the evening that day. After 1918 and the establishment of the Czechoslovak Republic, the coronation jewels ceased to serve their original function, but remained important as symbols of national independence and statehood. In the past, the jewels were kept in different places, but have been always brought to royal coronations in Prague. Wenceslaus, Roman 1378 minus 1000, 419 probably moved them to Karlstegen Castle. They were then repeatedly moved for safety reasons. In the 17th century, they were returned to Prague Castle. During the Thirty Years War 1631, they were sent to a parish church in Sesque de Javis, and then they were secretly taken to the Imperial Treasury, Vienna 1637. While the jewels were stored in Vienna, 
the original gold orb and scepter from the 14th century were replaced with current ones. The new orb and scepter probably originated with an order by Ferdinand I in 1533. Possible reasons for this replacement might be that the originals were simply too austere and lacked any precious stones. Deemed unrepresentative of the prestige of the Kingdom of Bohemia, it made sense to replace them with an orb and scepter in an ornate jeweled style that resembled the crown. The jewels were brought back to Prague on the occasion of the coronation of Bohemian King Leopold Roman II in 1791. At that time, the current tradition of seven keys was established, though the holders of the keys in the course of time were changed according to political and administrative structures. The jewels were kept in Vienna due to the threat from the Prussian army, but were later returned to Prague, arriving in the city on 28 August 1867. According to the ancient tradition and regulations laid down by Charles IV in the 14th century, the jewels are exhibited only to mark special occasions. Exhibitions can take place only at the Prague Castle. In the 20th century there were nine such moments in history. The President of the Republic has the exclusive right to decide on the display of the crown jewels. An ancient Czech legend says that any usurper who places the crown on his head is doomed to die within a year. This legend is supported by a rumor that Reinhard Heydrich, the Nazi governor of the puppet state protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia secretly wore them and was assassinated less than a year later. Gallery Exhibitions List of crowned Bohemian kings and queens if not mentioned, coronation was held in Prague. Kings and queens crowned with the crown of St. Wenceslas and other crown jewels 